today our topic is mosfet versus bjd we will discuss comparison operation and applications of both the devices i am dr imran khan for more videos and technology updates please subscribe our channel if you have any question related to our video please don't hesitate to contact me since 1948 transistors have been used in electronics mosfet and bjd represent the two main types of transistors used today transistors are used in amplification and switching mosfet offers advantages over bjd in modern electronics and computers as these transistors are more compatible with silicon processing technology our today's lecture focus is mosfet versus bjd so let's try to differentiate between a mosfet and a bjd mosfet is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and bjd is a bipolar junction transistor both mosfet and bjd are active devices in mosfet gate source voltage controls the drain current and in bjd the base current ib controls the collector current ic mosfet is faster than bjd because mosfet is unipolar device and bjd is a bipolar device unipolar means only flow of electrons and bipolar means flow of both electrons and holes we know that the electron mobility is twice the mobility of holes so mosfet is faster than bjd due to high speed only mosfets are used in digital and analog integrated circuits designed today we no longer use bjd in our digital and analog integrated circuits mosfets have two types n mos and p mos and bjd also has two types npn and pnp transistors mosfet has three terminals gate drain and source and bjd also has three terminals base emitter and collector both these devices mosfet and bjd's are used as an amplifier and switch so before going in details let's discuss the simple structure of mosfet so here you can see the cross sectional view of mosfet and here you can see the prospective view of mosfet so let's discuss this cross sectional view of mosfet first so here you can see this terminal so uh, this is the gate terminal and these are source and drain terminals so the gate terminal is connected to this channel region via an insulator this insulator is silicon oxide or sio2 with thickness T not X. So uh, this thick thickness is basically T not X. So this is the channel region because we are discussing uh, uh, this uh, N MOS transistor. So it's it is having P type substrate. So this is uh, the fourth terminal body terminal. Uh, for simplicity, we usually don't include uh, this body terminal in our calculations. So here you can see this N plus. diffusions in both the region source and drain regions of this n mos transistor so you apply gate voltage here and drain voltage here and control the current between source and drain terminal so this is uh, the prospective view of the mosfet so here you can see this channel width and channel length so these are uh, uh, the source diffusion and the drain diffusion so these both are n plus diffusion and the p type substrate here so this is uh, the channel region this is channel length and this is the body terminal so this is uh, the basic and simple structure of mosfet so now we will discuss the process of channel formation and current flow so here in the first figure you can see you have grounded your drain terminal and the source terminal 
and you have applied some voltage at the gate terminal when your vg is lesser than vt no current flows it means id is equal to 0 now your device is in cutoff region when you start applying this vg due to this positive voltage electric field generates here and this positive gate voltage attracts the electron on this surface and repels the holes so if you keep on applying vg more electrons appear here when your vgs is greater than vt even more electrons appear here and the channel is formed but still no current flows because you haven't applied any drain voltage so when you start applying the drain voltage so and you you are you have already applied the gate voltage and your gate voltage vg is greater than vt and you have applied the drain voltage so current start flowing between these two terminals source and the drain so uh, this is uh, the process of um, uh, basically uh, process of formation of channel and the current flow so mosfet has two types n type mosfet and uh, p mos transistors n mos and p mos transistors so this is the symbol for a simple n mos transistor and this is the symbol for p mos transistor so in p mos transistor you can see a bubble here so your n mos transistor turns on when your gate voltage is high and your p mos uh, transistor turns on when your gate voltage or vg is low or equal to zero so this is uh, the process of uh, uh, basically switching process of your n mos and uh, p mos transistors so you can turn your uh, 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 n mos and p mos transistors on and off by applying appropriate uh, gate signal so mosfet has three regions of operation cutoff region linear or triode region and the saturation region so when vg is lesser than vt and vgs is zero then there is no current uh, there is no drain current it means id is equal to zero now your device is in cutoff region when vg is greater than vt and vds is lesser than vgs minus vt now your device is in linear region so here you can see you have applied the gate voltage and drain voltage here and your vds is lesser than vgs minus vt now you can see uh, the linear region here now your device is working in linear region so here you can see the linear region here so in the linear region this is the equation for the id where kn prime is called process transconductance parameter and kn prime is equal to mu n c naught x mu n is electron mobility c naught x is oxide capacitance c naught x is equal to epsilon naught x divided by t naught x epsilon naught x is basically oxide permittivity and t naught x is oxide thickness so suppose you keep on applying this drain voltage and your drain voltage becomes greater than vgs minus vt now you can see the channel pinch off here now a constant current will flow between the drain and the source so this is the equation of id in saturation region and you can see that vds is greater than vgs minus vt so here lambda is called channel length modulation for uh, simplicity usually we take lambda is equal to 
0 in our simple calculations. IV characteristics of an enhancement type and MOS transistor. So here you can see when uh, VG is lesser than VT, your device uh, is in cutoff region and ID is equal to 0. And here you can see the device is in linear region, VDS is lesser than equal to VOV. What is this VOV? VOV is VGS minus VT. It is called effective overdrive voltage. When VDS is lesser than equal to VGS minus VT, now your device is in linear or triode region. So here you can see the linear and triode region. So when VDS becomes greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, your device will go in saturation region. So uh, this is uh, the saturation region and in the saturation region you will see the constant current ID. So uh, these are uh, the values of uh, ID for different VGS. So these are ID currents here and different VGS values here. Now we will discuss BJT. BJT is a three terminal device. BJT ha has three terminals base, emitter and collector. BJT has two types NPN and PNP. So here you can see the NPN configuration and PNP configuration of BJT. So here you can see the collector, base and emitter. So you apply uh, the collector base current here and control the collector current here. So uh, this is uh, the mechanism of operation of a simple BJT. So here you can see uh, the biasing configuration of a uh, simple BJT. So here you can see here uh, this is simple NPN transistor and this is PNP transistor. So here you can see this uh, emitter base junction and this is the collector base junction so this is emitter terminal this is base terminal and this is the collector terminal for an NPN uh, transistor so this is the PNP transistor so BJT has three modes of operation cutoff rule mode linear or active mode and saturation row mode in cutoff mode, both emitter base junction and collector base junctions are reverse biased. And in active mode, emitter base junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reverse biased. And in the saturation region, both forward, uh, both emitter base junction and collector base junctions are forward biased. So, as we already discussed that. MOSFET is a high speed device so in our digital and analog integrated circuits nowadays we only use uh, MOSFETs so uh, in our uh, latest integrated circuits nowadays especially in year 2020 we have billions of transistors in small silicon area so uh, this scaling down of the transistors and the, this MOSFET technology has uh, uh, reshaped uh, our life and uh, now we have uh, uh, much faster devices and much reliable devices uh, because of our uh, uh, transistors. So this was the lecture for today. Thank you very much and see you next time.